team members to the workspace. Once we create the workspace, we need to add the team members to the workspace. Then we'll see how to add the team members to the workspace, how to add team members to workspace, we'll see. Once we add the team members to the workspace, once we are adding the team members, we need to assign the roles. We need to assign the roles. There are different roles available, guys. How to add the team members to the workspace and assigning the roles. Assigning the roles. We'll see. And assigning the roles. There are different roles available. There are different roles available. So admin role, member role, contributor role, different roles will be available. The different roles, how will assign it? Assigning the roles. There are four types of roles, admin role, contributor role, member role, and viewer role. When to give which role, we'll discuss. Right, first, so let's see how to create a workspace first. So to create a workspace, let's log on to Power BI service, open any web browser, log on to Power BI service, app.powerbi.com, and log in with user 32, and provide the password here. So once you log in, to create a workspace, just go to the workspace folder, workspace folder. So th this we call it as navigation menu, guys. Go to navigation menu, go to workspaces folder, and when you go to workspaces folder, you'll find an option called create a workspace. You'll find an option called create a workspace. Navigation folder, go to navigation folder, navigation menu navigation menu and go to workspaces folder workspaces create the workspace create a workspace window it will open so in that you can give the workspace name basically we know that when we start any project when we start any project we need to create one workspace so what is the name you need to give for that workspace what is the name we will give for that workspace is? What is the name we will give for that workspace is? <clears throat> Most of the cases, when we start any project, the project will, will have a name, ABC, XYZ, some name will be there. So when we start any project, a name will be there. Sales analysis project or whatever it is. Uh, any name will be there, lens analysis project, whatever it is. So when we start any project, the project will have some name. Basically, that name we will give it as workspace name. That name will give it as workspace name. Here, I'll create one workspace with the name uh, 7 a.m. or else uh, batch 7 a.m. Feb 2021 workspace. So just just uh, instead of giving the project name, I'm giving this batch 7 a.m. February month 2021. So this is the workspace I'm giving. So first it will check the workspace name, guys. If you observe here, when I try to give the workspace name as test, it, it is telling that not available. That means this name is used by some other people in our company. In our own company, they will start multiple Power BI projects. In our own company, they will start Power BI, multiple Power BI projects. So this test is there, right? That name is used by some other people in my organization already. Some other people used it. So that is the reason it is not available. Please edit the name it is telling. And if, if, if you are giving a name which was not used by any other people, it will show available. In our company, no one used this project name. No one used this workspace name then it will show you available. Okay, fine. So this is the workspace name. 
and you need to upload a logo if you want if you have any logo for your project you can upload it so if you have any logo you can upload it d drive power bi material i have a logo with the name go so i have a logo for my project i'm giving some logo here you can add any logo so and then if you want you can write some description about this project why you are building this project what is the purpose of it if you want you can write some description here so what this project will contains you can write it so it's an optional it's up to you if you want to write some description you can write it or else leave it click on save when i click on save a workspace will be created creating a workspace is quite simple guys so workspace was created by default the person who created the workspace he will be the admin to that workspace i created a workspace with the name batch 7 am feb 2021 right when i go here more options i'll see workspace access when i do when i go to workspace access you can observe here the person who created the workspace 32 he will be the admin to that workspace he will be the admin to that workspace so the person who created the workspace who created the workspace he will be the admin to that workspace he will be admin to that workspace the person who created the workspace he will be the admin to that workspace workspace okay so user 32 created the workspace by default he will be admin to that workspace and uh, so you can see it so you cannot uh, remove the admin look at this so there is a, there is three dots when i try to remove it it will tell that you cannot remove all admins from the workspace a workspace must have at least one admin so in this project workspace for now only user 32 is there it is not possible to remove him and it is not even possible to change the role there are different roles admin member contributor viewer four roles will be there i cannot go and change the role of this person to contributor when i try to change it to contributor it will give the same message you cannot remove all the admins from the workspace a workspace must have at least one admin when we create any project workspace that workspace must have at least one admin we cannot remove all the admins we cannot remove all the admins now once we create the workspace now let me discuss what are the activities so if you want to see who are the people have in this workspace one way go here go and click on workspace access another way on the right hand side you will see an option called access when i click on access i can i can open the same window access window if you want to open one way you can go here you can click on workspace access another way in the right hand side you can see access you can click on it you can get the same window fine now when you create a new workspace we will discuss what are the activities you will perform in the workspace when we create the workspace in that workspace what activities we will perform we'll discuss now when we create the workspace what are the different activities we will perform in that workspace i'll show you here so when you create the workspace first activity we are going to perform is when we create the workspace the first activity we are going to perform in the workspace is let me let me copy it instead of typing it i i copied it somewhere here what are the activities we will perform in the workspace let me go to power bi material power bi service and power bi service activities so not this not this when you create the workspace what are the activities you will perform in the workspace when you create the workspace once after creating a workspace what are the activities you will perform we are going to perform in the workspaces so let me copy this basically once you create the workspace these are the different activities we will perform in the workspace these are the different activities we will perform in the workspace first one is once we create the workspace sometimes there is a need of updating the workspace you might need to update the workspace updating the workspace means changing the name of the workspace so you given the name like this might be you need to change this name might be there is a need of changing the workspace okay and then might be there is a need of changing the roles of the members once we create the workspace we'll add the team members to this workspace 
we will add already user 32 created he is there we will add user 33 user 34 how many people want to work on this project we'll add it while adding user 30 t uh, 33 I, I can give the role as contributor for the first time i adding him as a contributor once we added him as a contributor in future i can change this contributor to this this role contributor i can change the contributor to what i can change this role from contributor to uh, a member member so at the time of you, you will came to know what is this contributor all this you will came to know at the time of adding i added him as a contributor but later on i want to change him as a member when you want to change him as a member how can we change it how can we change it right uh, changing the roles of the members also comes under updating the workspace or removing the members from the workspace uh, while starting the project user 34 is working in this project later on user 34 uh, went to another project he left from this project he went to another project that time you might need to remove the user 34 from this workspace removing the user 34 from this workspace is also what updating the workspace sometimes we might need to delete the workspace i created one workspace i no need it i don't need it i want to delete the workspace so first activity will be, will be seeing updating the workspace and deleting the workspace and second activity we will perform in the workspace is once we create the workspace we might add so once we create the workspace we might need to add the team members to the workspace and we need to assign the roles now i user 32 created the workspace 32 is admin along with 32 other people want to work on this project we need to add it if 33 want to work on this project we need to add 33 and we need to give the role for 33 either we need to give admin role either we need to give member role either we need to give contributor role or either we need to give viewer role viewer role so we'll discuss when to give which role we'll discuss we need to give any one of this role and we need to add user 32 33 to this workspace right that is the work we'll do once we create the workspace we'll add the team members to the workspace and we'll assign the roles we'll assign the roles and next one is adding content once a uh, workspace is there first thing we will add to the workspace is a data set adding the data set to the workspace will do and once we add the content to the data set we'll create the new roles uh, creating new content so once we add the data set we might create new content like reports dashboards so once with once the data set is added to the workspace on top of the data set we might need to create new reports and new dashboards or else in the workspace sometimes we might need to update existing content we might need to update existing data set existing reports existing dashboards or sometimes we might need to delete the content deleting the data sets deleting the reports deleting the dashboards so once we create the workspace once we add the data set We'll create new reports we'll update existing content we'll delete the existing content we might do we might do this work and so on data set once you created new reports and new dashboards to show up to date data in the reports and dashboards we need to schedule refresh the data set schedule data refreshes via on-premise gateway so we need to refresh the data set we need to schedule refresh the data set via gateway so yes we will do this work and then once you have updated data in the reports and dashboards we need to share that content reports and dashboards with the end users whatever the reports and dashboards we build we need to share with the clients or end users and the last work we will do in the workspace is we will view the content in the workspace we'll, we'll, we'll log into the workspace we'll view the content what i mean to explain here is once we create any workspace what activities we'll do in the workspace we might log in and we might see the content or we might log in we might update the workspace or we might log in we might delete the workspace or we will go to the workspace we will add the team members to the workspace and assign the roles we'll go to the workspace we'll add the data set to the workspace we'll go to the workspace we might create new reports and dashboards on that data set or we might update existing data sets reports and dashboards in the workspace or we might delete the content data sets reports and dashboards in the workspace or we will schedule refresh the data sets in the workspace or we will share the reports and dashboards with the clients in the workspace these are the different works we will do when we create any workspace when we create any workspace okay so 
when I create a workspace, so in this project, who are working? User 32 is working for now. So how many, by, by default, who created the workspace? Only that person will be there. Now, I will log in with user 33 here, app.powerbi.com. I'll log in with user 33. Go here, user 33. I'll log in with user 33. And I'll give the password. Once I given the password here, now someone tell me in user 33, can I see this project, project workspace here? When you go to the workspaces, you are seeing this workspace. In user 33, can I see this workspace? No, no, we can't. We can't see. We cannot see. So in user 33, can we see this workspace? Is no. So when I go here. When I go here, when I go and search for workspace, I don't find it. So user 33 also want to work on this workspace. If user 33 also want to work on this workspace, how to work? So he want to see first of all the workspace. So we need to give the permissions. When you want to add user 33 to this workspace, one way, go here, go and click on workspace access. We can add it. Another way, go to the workspace, click on access. Here, enter email address so who are the people who want to work on this project you need to enter their email address go and enter it so i want to enter user 33 when i when i'm adding user 33 i want to give the roles case admin member contributor viewer so for user 33 what role you will give what role you will give for user 33 what kind of role you will give so let me write here so totally how many roles we have so totally four types of roles we have four types of roles roles we have so what are the four types of roles one is admin second one is member and third one is contributor and fourth one is viewer these are the four different roles available when you create any workspace admin member contributor and viewer and so when when to go with which role when you are adding any person at least you need to assign one role basically when you have one workspace in the real time might be you will find one admin majority of the cases and you will find one member one member and remaining people we will add as a contributors so might be one or more contributors and one or more viewers one or more viewers so it is not that mandatory that one workspace need to have one admin you might even have multiple admins in the workspace so a workspace might have multiple admins a workspace might have multiple members a workspace might have multiple contributors a, mul a workspace must have one second guys Workspace must have, just give me one second. Fine. A workspace might have multiple admins, multiple members, multiple contributors, or multiple viewers. There is no limit. But basically, when we have workspace, we'll have one admin, one member, one member. So already for this workspace, admin is there. User 33, 32 is admin, right? So now here, what admin can do? So basically, when you create a new workspace, we know that these are the activities we'll perform. In any workspace, we'll perform these activities, one to seven activities. When we add him as admin, among this one to seven activities, what he will perform? When you add him as an admin, among this one to seven activities, he'll perform everything. Admin is the highest role, one to seven. One to seven, he'll perform, guys. He'll perform everything. Admin is the highest role, so he can perform every activity. and Member, second highest role is member. 
second highest role is member when you add him as a member so admin can update the workspace admin can delete the workspace admin can add the team members admin can add the content admin can create the new content admin can schedule refresh the data set admin can share the content admin can view the content every work admin can do it when you add him as a member what he can do when we add someone someone as a member what he can do when we add someone as activity. A, so he will do he will not do first activity he will not update the workspace he will not uh, delete the workspace he will do two to seven activities but second activity also he will do partially he cannot do the second activity completely second activity partially partially second activity partially and three to seven completely three to seven completely he can do th starting from third activity to seven activity completely but adding the team members to the workspace can do partially what is that partially you'll understand and when we add as a contributor what they can do when we add as a contributor contributor cannot do the first work contributor cannot do the second work contributor can do the third work contributor can do the fourth work contributor can do the fifth work contributor cannot do the sixth work contributor can do the seventh work totally contributor can do three four five and seven contributor can perform third activity fourth activity fifth activity and seventh activity contributor can not do first and second activity contributor cannot do the sixth activity sixth activity sharing the content reports and dashboards with the users he cannot do it adding the team members to the workspace contributor cannot do that updating the workspace or deleting the workspace contributor cannot do that and when you add someone as a viewer he can do only seventh activity he can do only seventh activity before you add any person to the workspace you need to decide what that person need to do now i want to add user 33 when I am adding user 33, I need to decide. User 33 need to do all the one to seven activities. Then add him as admin. No problem. So when you are adding user 33, you can even give the admin role. It is not that one workspace need to have only one admin. We can even have multiple admins in the workspace. It is possible. But so I don't want uh, user 33 to do one to seven activities. And user 33 need to do second activity partially and three to seven completely. So for that, I want to give the member role to him. When I add him as a member role, when I add him as a member role, so close it. Now, can I see that workspace here in user 33? Can I see that workspace now? Can I see that workspace yes. now in the yes. user 33? Yes, we can see. When I go here, you'll find a workspace with the name batch. 7 a.m. Feb 2021 workspace. When I go to that workspace, I can see it. So now I am I am user 33. I cannot edit this workspace. I cannot even rename this workspace. So if, if you go to 32, in user 32, I can change the workspace name. When I go here, when I go to workspace settings, I can change the workspace name. I can change the workspace name. I can modify workspace. But in in user 33 when i go here when i go to this workspace so when i go to workspace settings it is grayed out it is grayed out i cannot even change my workspace name i am the member so here user 33 cannot do this first activity you cannot update the workspace you cannot change the name of the workspace you cannot change the rules you cannot remove the members from the workspace you cannot even delete the workspace so now tell me a member can do so user user 33 can add user 34 user 33 can add user 34 yes yes, yes. admin role you can add the role uh, yes when i go here he can even see the access button i can go here in this workspace he can even see the access workspace access you can access it from here or from there so i am user 33 now i'm planning to add user 34 how to add user 34 user 34 but i can give what roles I can give member role, contributor role, viewer role. So user 33 cannot give admin role. Why? Because user 33 itself is a member. How can he give admin role? So when user 32 is adding another person, he can give all the four roles. When user 33 is adding, he can give only three roles. 
right? That is what we are telling here. Admin. So when member is adding other people's, he can do that work partially. That means he can give only three roles. He can give member role. He can give uh, contributor role. Contributor role or viewer role. Viewer role. Viewer role. These are the three roles a member can provide. But when admin is adding other person, he can give all the four roles. He can give all the four roles. That is what we are telling. Member, contributor, and viewer. Viewer. Fine, guys. So remaining three to seven, he can do completely. Three to seven. Adding the data set, creating reports, refreshing the data set, sharing the content, viewing the content. Everything can be done by member. Now, I'll go and add to this workspace. I, 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 user 33 is adding user 34, and he is giving contributor role. What is the role we given for 34? Contributor. Contributor. Close. Contributor. Now let me log on log in with 34. Tell me when I log in with 34, am I able to see that workspace now? App.powerby.com. I'll log in with 34. Can I see that workspace? Yes, we can see. Yes, we can see. We already added. Yes, we can see. We already added. Yes, we can see that workspace. When you go there, you'll find a workspace with the name batch. Now user 34 can add 35. Now I am in 34. 34 can add 35? No. User 34 possible. can add 35. It is not possible. When I go to that workspace, I'm not even seeing access button here. Access button. So when you go to the 34, you are seeing access button. When you go to the access button, when I go to 34, I'm not seeing access button. I have one report I want to bring that report to the workspace here so easy way of getting the report is get data get data and it is there in my local mission click on local file did you Admin can share local. this report. There is a report here. Report 1. Can admin share this report? There is a report 1 which contains uh, some 4 pages. I want to share this report. Share this report. Can I share? User 32 can share this report means he is the admin. He can share. Yes. You have a share permissions. Yes, he can share it. Can you share this report? Yes. Even member can share the report. When we go here, even member can share the report.
I'm adding a, a, a additional page here, page five. I'll add some text box. I'll paste this content here. Fine. In 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 tomorrow's class, we'll discuss how to share this content with our clients. Sharing the content, reports or dashboards with end users and clients. We'll discuss in tomorrow's class. Yes, tell me. Ah, uh, only one question. Uh, 